Hello everyone. Thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Please do not forget to hit on the like button. A man has just caused his own wife to lose her pregnancy after he carried out a very horrible act on her. The lady has been identified as Ezine and as we speak she's currently in the hospital in pain after her own husband Ido Chuku allegedly assaulted her at their residence at Urata Owere, Imo State, Nigeria. It was gathered that the two have been married since 2017 and the marriage is blessed with two, two kids. It so said that Ido Chiku has turned his wife into a punching bag. This is not something you would like to even hear or see at all and that he beats her over every tiny thing that she does wrong to him and this is what the wife is saying and i was said that this isn't the first time that he's actually beating her up like this and it happened like three days ago when he now came home he rang the doorbell but it took her some minutes to come to the door to open the door because she was making use of the restroom and when she finally opened the door he beat her mercilessly and then he proceeded to call his own brother and a friend to come and act as witnesses. He now seized her phone and also the wife seized his own phone in the course of this whole drama that was happening between them. And his brother and the friend was not even helping matters. His brother was trying to set fire up so as to gaslight this woman away would you be imagining what someone would do they called you as a witness instead of coming the situation you're trying to stir up more heated problems by setting her on fire would that be the solution to the problem that is happening between them this is really bad and he beat her so bad that he punched her even right to her belly and she has lost her pregnancy. Right now, she's at the hospital because she was rushed to the hospital. The doctors have confirmed that she already has a miscarriage due to the beating that she had received from her husband. This is where the ask women. You are with a man who has been punching you for years. You have two kids with him. And then she did nothing about it. She just kept on leaving with him and to her it seemed like it was kind of a normal thing why would you be used to someone battering you beating you up every time and it's so bad because kids are even involved in this marriage why do some women decide that they want to cover up their husband and then remain his punching bag Okay, look at now she has lost her pregnancy and she's been rushed to the hospital because of the severity of the beatings that her husband gave to her. And why do some men decide that the only way they can make their wife reason or listen to them is by beating her up? Is she a baby? Even a baby, you don't even beat a baby up like that. Even if it is an outsider, you don't touch people like that. Why would you take your own wife who has kids for you, the mother of your children, and you turn her into a punching bag? You unleash all your anger on her because she is a woman and she can't challenge you. This is where some men suppress women or their wives. Their wives don't have a say. They have the final say. Their wife can't even take any form of decision with them. They will always want to be in charge. And then you are now beating this woman. What if she dies in the process? Has this man thought of it? Because women are not as strong as men. There's a way you hit a woman and she will collapse. She may not stand up again because 
the strength is gone from her with the heavy hands a man will hit I some would even hit you with their legs at the same time why do some people just decide that this is the kind of life they want to live it's more painful when you see that they have kids so will they lock up their kids in the room and be beating up their wives or will they send their kids outside let them beat up their their mother let him beat up their mother first before they can come into the house some kids even witness their father beating up their mother and they will be crying and pleading with him to let her go but this man still stay there and be pounding on this woman like she is one sack that he's eating on i said something one time men that are into domestic violence that you beat your wife like punching bags place three people very important in your life in the shoes of this wife of yours first i say place your mother there if someone is battering your mother like this whom she's married to how are you going to feel secondly your own daughter if someone is pounding on her like this she's married to how would you feel thought your own sister if someone is doing this to her how are you going to feel are you going to congratulate the man are you going to be happy for the man or are you going to tell your sister to leave that marriage why treat someone else's daughter like she is just thin to you or she is just a punching bag to you this is somebody you professed and you claimed you love for better for worse and all of that then you eventually this person becomes the last resort for you to unleash your anger like i always say i see some of these men out there they don't even have the strength to face their fellow men no matter what they do to them but when it comes to their wives they are ready to beat her to a pop please seek help if you are a man or a husband or a fiance that is into hitting your wives like this you need help because a man who is okay would not be beating a woman and you see her crying screaming out for help and you will still be there beating her up only someone who is inhuman would keep doing that to a fellow human being like him remember it's the same blood that is running through your veins that is also running through her veins don't forget that this person is in great pain this person is screaming out loud for you to help her but you still stay there insisting on carrying out the horrible act until you are satisfied then you would stop and leave her some beat their wives to the point they sustain terrible injuries they don't even take her to the hospital they leave her there if you are into such a disease from it seek for help tell yourself the truth any man who is beaten a woman needs help you can't say you are okay and then you are beating your wife you can't say you're okay and then you turn her into a punching bag some men will get angry out there someone has upset them and then at any slightest thing the wife does in the house they will now unleash that anger on her by beating her up to release themselves of the anger meanwhile the person who upset them is out there they didn't face him they can't face him because he's a fellow man like them then the best way for them to unleash themselves of the pain they are going through is to transfer the aggression on their wives men please seek help earlier the better so you don't end up committing the horrible crime that you would regret for the rest of your life and also women please speak up i will always say something i said every day one woman or the other is going through domestic violence in the whole world every day you will count somebody that is going through a domestic violence marriage or home there is no point you keep quiet to protect the interest of your husband you are not helping matters rather you're making matters worse because you may never live to testify or say what is going on with you in that marriage and nobody will know except you speak up please don't cover such acts it's not going to be helpful to you or to your kids that is if you have kids in that marriage you will just end up destroying your own self because some of these men they beat the women to the point that they lose their lives 
stand up for yourself speak up there are a lot of helplines that are against domestic violence and they'll come immediately if it means them picking you up so as to ensure you have a safe place to even stay pending when all of the problems you're having with your husband is resolved they go to that extent they don't criticize you so don't feel ashamed to speak up if you don't speak up you would end up in a very terrible situation that you can't even get yourself out again i know some of these women are scared to make any kind of report because if their husbands find out they may kill them in that situation look for other means you don't have to call them in his presence neither do you have to call them to his hearing you have the way you can even write down a short note telling someone to help you this is what you're going through you can give it hand it over to anybody around and tell the person to help you that you really need help there is no way that you would communicate with someone and the person would ignore you in that kind of a situation. You don't have to die in silence. You don't have to continue like that because one day he'll beat you to your last breath. So men are so mean that even when you're crying and pleading with them to stop, they don't stop. They beat you until they are satisfied. You don't need to live in a home where you're being beaten every day. You need to call those helplines you either meet your church leaders or your various religious leaders. You call family members, make the report. Someone who is receiving beatings every day. You don't need to be quiet. You should know that a lot of women have lost their lives as a result of domestic violence marriages. And because they kept quiet, they never said a word to anybody. They just ended up losing their lives. Please, you have a bright future a bright life ahead of you don't waste it and stay stagnated with a man who doesn't value you a man who beats you all the time has no regards for you a man who beat you doesn't value you he doesn't love you whatever he claim he's told you that he loves you he doesn't love you you need to tell yourself the honest truth please and if it's a relationship that has just started or even if it has not just started and you are receiving beatings from your fiance or your boyfriend please take your heels and run away you've not yet committed yourself engagement is not marriage that you say okay i'm married to him let me stick to this marriage and see how i can figure it out in that situation you don't need to figure anything out you should know that if you started a relationship with domestic violence in it be rest assured that it's going to carry on in your home and would any woman want to live in a married home where she is being beaten every day? I'm sure no woman would want that. It's except in a situation of marriage and especially when the kids are involved. You are still not advised to stay there. But at the same time, you need help. You need to call people to come to your rescue. You don't stay there like that all because you said you are married and you can't leave. No, there are ways of you going about it without even leaving your marriage and then getting things sorted out. Except this man has made up his mind never to change even after all the help you have sought for. That is when you'll be advised to leave. Nobody would encourage any woman to remain in a domestic violent marriage even after trying to make a change and ensure that this man stops beating his wife. If he's not ready to change, Please, the best thing for you to do is tell yourself the truth. I will keep repeating this and then seek help on time. The earlier, the better. When you still have your breath in you, seek for help. Because if you endure it, you may endure it to the point that you would lose your life. It's not worth it at all. This woman is lucky that she's still alive after all the battering that the husband gave to her and another thing is be careful with whom you discuss with you can imagine the kind of brother and friend he had instead of them coming to calm the situation all they were trying to do is to get the woman burnt to ashes so you see that's why i mentioned all those places that i said you should seek for help because some friends 
would not even advise you right. They would advise you wrongly in such a way that would affect you more. It's better you go to all of this professional, go to your church leaders or your various religious leaders, or you seek counseling or you meet a therapist. You call the lifeline. You involve family members. These are professional places or professional people that you meet and then you rest assured that they would definitely seek for a way to help you. Except in some homes where the family members are being biased, they want to either cite their son for his actions and blame the woman and say she is naggy, she is this and she is that. Those are just flimsy excuses. Don't be carried away with all those excuses they are giving and then you keep quiet and you say, okay, let me change your own self first. It doesn't work that way. A domestic violent man will continue until you have reported him out there and he's been taken away for him to ensure that he doesn't lay his hands on you again. You see some men that will be battering their wives. They keep on doing that, but the minute their wives will report them either to the cops or go out and narrate this to the church members or even his own family members. That is when the guy will come to his senses and he will decide that he wants to change and he would not want to hit you because you already have stood up your ground to make a report against him. You will see some of these men that has been reported by their wives to either the cops, the cops will come and they will give you a warning. Because if you continue like that, they want to let you know that you will be locked up. And you may not even have access to your family again. That's how bad it is. And at the same time, you'll still be suiting the bills of your family members. That's like the fact you are no longer in the house with them. So please, seek for help the earlier the better. Don't wait until it is too late, women. Men that are beating their wives, go, you need help. You can't be beating a woman, the mother of your kids, and you feel it's okay. It's never okay to hit any woman at all, no matter what she has done to you. There is no excuse that will justify your actions. Women, please, I would repeat it. Seek for help. The earlier, the better. Seek for help while you can, while you still have your breath in you. And tell yourselves the truth. Don't hide or cover up your husband all because you want to safeguard your marriage. You just end up destroying yourself the more. Friends, what do you all think about activities or acts like this from some men? What do you think should be the right approach in a situation that has come up like this? Please, whatever you feel, you can put that down at the comment section. Please don't forget to hit on the like button. Thank you for coming up today. Please don't forget to subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell. So you get notified each time we upload a new video. Friends, I'm here today to talk about how to start up a new YouTube channel. So for those that are looking to start up a new YouTube channel, probably you've been trying to figure out how to go about it, or you have been trying to see what it entails or what you need to start. That's why I'm here today to give you the easy way for you to get this done. Not just the easy but the best method and also to give you or to talk about the best teacher who will give you all that is required for you to start up your own YouTube channel. This is a teacher, he is really successful with his YouTube and he has been a teacher for so long now. Teacher is Matt Pa. He's going to give you a step-by-step -step method on how to start up your own YouTube channel. No stone unturned. Every step of the way, he's going to lead you through it. You have links that you can actually reach out to him and communicate with him directly. That's 
Matt Pather, you can see the huge successes he has made in YouTube. You can see his silver, you can see the gold. You can also see his revenue that he's actually making on YouTube, which is very huge. He is going to give you a YouTube step-by-step -step tube mastery class. Every step of the way from the beginning of the opening of the channel to how you can start up and put up your videos. He is leaving no stone unturned like I said. So for those that are seeking for how to start up their own YouTube channel, this is the easiest and the fastest way for you to have access to this particular teacher who is honest and straightforward and you will enjoy every bit of the class and you will have lots of gain at the end of your class you will have lots to hold on to and to start up your own youtube channel it's going to be like an abc class starting from the scratch so please for those of you that are interested in starting up your own YouTube channel, Matt Pa, he is the teacher and you will have direct access to him. I'm dropping the link below. So please, you just click on that link and you will have access to Matt Pa's class. He is going to give you the whole content of YouTube and all that it takes for you to be successful in youtube and how to start youtube from the scratch like i said and i'm going to repeat he's leaving no stone unturned and it's so interesting that if you have any kind of complaint no matter the time you have this complaint or you are confused about anything you can communicate directly to him and he will give you a response as soon as he gets your question or as soon as he gets your mail or anything you're trying to confirm from him. He is quick at responding and he will give you the right answers. And even if you go elsewhere to search, you'll find out that what he is saying is actually true. He wouldn't mislead you. So please, for those of you that want to start your own YouTube channel from the scratch and see how you can be successful on YouTube, please go to this link, click on the link below. So you will have access to the teacher. That's the teacher there you can see and see his success. You can go through that and then you click on the link so that you can have direct access to Matt Pa himself. This teacher, you will enjoy it and enjoy every bit of the classes that he is going to give to you. So friends, do not forget to click the link below so you have access to Matt Pass to Mastery class and he will give you the best teaching for you to, you will really need to start your own channel. Friends, thank you for coming up today. Please, for those that have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you once again and God bless you all.